Hey everybody, what is up? Today, I am going to turn this bag of black powder into something oh so shiny. Graphite. I've used it several times before in past videos, but I've never really taken a deep dive into just exactly what that technique entails. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to make a shiny little prop like this. The Noisy Cricut is a 3D printing project, so it kicked off like all my previous 3D printing projects, a file off the internet and a 3D printer. Being a tiny prop, I decided the best course of action was to involve both my 3D printers. The resin printer got all the small, detailed parts, and then the Prusa got the more, I guess, straightforward, bulky parts. Another reason behind doing it this way was it's gonna cut down the post-processing time. The resin parts are gonna need next to no sanding. With FDM printing, there's sanding. There's a, there's a little bit of post-processing that needs to be done. A little bit of contour putty. I've used this technique a few times before, but I've never really gone into detail as to what it exactly takes to get a sexy, shiny graphite finish. A few coats of filler primer, and now all of these preparatory steps are complete. So now I can move on to the main event of this whole project, graphite. It all begins with black, gloss black to be exact, and you are gonna need a lot of it. You wanna start with two or three mist coats just to kinda of prime the pump and get everything ready. And then you move into two or three heavier flood coats, and this, hopefully, will give you a uniform shiny finish. When you're doing this, remember, wear PPE. You're working with powdered graphite that is going to get everywhere. And one place you don't want it is your lungs. So be smart, wear a respirator. With all that out the way, it's time to get to graphite. My tool of choice for this step is the simple cotton ball. Dip the cotton ball into a little bit of graphite and then start polishing. You really can't use too much graphite and really don't have to worry about being too rough. The more you polish this, the shinier it's going to be. Essentially, you're grinding the graphite into the gloss black finish. So this creates a shiny, dark gunmetal effect. It's a neat and cost-effective way to achieve this finish too. If you don't have it in your budget to afford a paint like an Lumiluster or an Allclad, maybe you don't even have an airbrush. Well, graphite is a great way to achieve that shiny metallic finish. And it's a very durable finish too. You're grinding the graphite into the paint, so it's not gonna rub off and it's not gonna fade. I'm now onto the final approach for this project. Body and the muzzle needed to get glued together, and then I added some real screws to the body of the gun, just for that extra little bit of realism. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you found it at least a little bit informative. Please like, please subscribe please hit that little bell or don't. I mean, I'm really not your mother, so I can't really tell you what you do. But thank you guys for watching. Saffron and I will see you guys in the next video. And now let's have a look at those final sexy shots.
Oh, and uh, there ain't no such thing as aliens or men in black. This is the quality of production you're gonna expect and see for Magnetic Nerds. Complete Bush League. <laughs> You guys don't want to disappoint Saffron, do you? You better like and subscribe.